Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Here's another coffee with C. If you want to know more what it's like to have no social media for five years, keep on watching. Number one, I get to wake up in the morning without having to spend two more hours in my bed, check my notifications and my messages. I go straight to the things that I need to do, eat breakfast and shower. Number two, I get to wake up very early in the morning to do my routine, hike, run, meditate, or pray. Number three, I get to have more meaningful interactions with the people that I truly care about because if I want to get in touch with them, I either call them, text them, or even visit them. I get to do more things that I could have not possibly do when I was still actively doing social media because even if it's only an hour or two every single day spent on social media, they add up. I was able to use them to do other things such as YouTube. I don't compare myself to others or anything that I see in social media because I do not have that. I cannot see them. I do not stalk any other people because I do not have that channel. There's nothing wrong with social media. It's a great tool. It connects people. It improves businesses. But it's the way how you use them. It's the way how it affects your life. Most of us do not know where to put the boundary. And I am one of them. That's why I quit it. And what you see in social media, these are not real. The accumulation of, of beautiful and positive things that the account owner want you to see. It's their escape from the reality. They do not look like that in real person. All the filters, all the things that you see, all, those, all the photoshopping that's going on, these are not real. These have negative effects to younger girls because they cannot distinguish between fake and reality. They are idolizing the unachievable beauty because these are not real. These are edited. These are Photoshop. I do not have any of those. I live my life. I run my own race. And if I need to come back to social media again because my work or my purpose in life need it, then I would love to. So let me know down below if you want me to talk more about this topic, if you want me to tell you my journey, how I started quitting social media, what I have done for the first months of it, it was tough. That's about it. I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye.